is absolutely dumping rain. Are you helping? What do you guys think of the salmon patties? Anna B. That was five. I know that's not how it's gonna go. What do you think, Isaiah? Is this what gonna do? is this gonna make some good taste in fish? Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you think, dogs? Dogs! This is ice cream scooper salmon scraps patties, and they are ridiculous. This thing is coming together, fellas. What are you doing there, young man? Oh, making a stencil. That's awesome. Because instead of an outhouse, it's a fish house, so we're going to have a little fish crescent on there? Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Are you getting the car you can hold? <laughs> Don't laugh at that. <laughs> you <laughs> made the joke. No, well, I wasn't making a joke. Oh, you were... Okay. No, I was making a joke. All right. I was like, that, my legs are hurting because of this. <laughs> that looks <laughs> real <laughs> comfortable. I'm okay with that. Uh, do you think it's going to create enough draft? A uh, fire pumping smoke into it? You don't? Do you think it's going to be a Good job. Ooh, sunk that one. Hey, can yeah. someone hand me? I can see the haters now. That's not how you make a smoker. That would have been so much better if you'd done this. What an idiot. Put it right over the top of the, st the stamp pot. All right, what'd you make here? I'm in a hole. It's an old, old burned out grill that we're going to make as a smoke box. So this is gonna be a remote smoke smoker here. Indirect, it'll be exterior on the smokehouse. And we'll have our fire in there and we're gonna plumb it with dryer venting into the side of the smoker. Good work. We abandoned the, uh, the electrical box idea. It's called a rinse. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying, we need some kind of... I like it. Okay, but I like this better. Oh, it's right. Smoker! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 65 over here. I'm not touching that because I don't want to break it. Flip, the, flip it so the red sides are up. These are all yours. Uh -huh. All the halves. What do you guys got there? Just a few fish. 500 pounds of fish. Yeah, boy. PTL. All right, guys, that is a wrap to a very busy first day back in town. Got a lot done. Got the smoker roughed in, roughed together. Got all of our fish transferred. Figured out what ends up with our gear and everything. Good day. Well, good morning, guys. It is day two of the smoker build. Got a good night's sleep last night. We're just back at it. Wearing my absolutely handy hat today to work on the smoker. Full disclosure, I'm not a carpenter. I've never been a carpenter. I've never made a door before, and I want to do it right and not screw it up. I think that's going to go good. But yesterday was great. And, you know, the guys came over after work to work on this smoker. Outstanding, appreciate that. This is gonna be our little community smoker. Man, yesterday was a butt kicker. Getting back in town, work on everything. Uh, 
definitely these trips are these trips are great they're super productive man we have filled so many freezers for families uh, this trip and we're just super thankful excited for that incredibly thankful for the resources here in alaska to do that with it's it's great so a little bit about this smoker um we set it up on one course of cmu blocks as you can see here did a little level pad of d1 underneath it uh, as you saw yesterday so again we got one eight inch course of cmu for a little bit of elevation and then the smoker footprint itself uh the front is uh, five and a half foot tall the back is five foot tall that is three foot by three foot we ended up framing it just you know trying to obviously do it as low cost as possible i had some two by fours in the yard that we did most of the framing with um don't uh, hack me on that again we're just kind of figuring it out as we go and then we did decide we wanted to decide it with cedar and we're going to trim everything out in cedar because i would really love for this thing to be around uh, for my grandkids that'd be amazing we'll see we're learning a lot that's for sure i did splurge and buy a piece of metal roofing all they had was galvanized color so that is what it is and then here's our cedar pieces we got some one by four and some half by two inch uh, that we're going to be doing most of our trim with and then i've got some two by twos here that we're going to be building our shelves and then we went with chicken wire a couple different sizes we got the fine mesh for if we're doing small pieces of smoked salmon meat and then we've got the larger mesh here um, that we're going to be doing for bigger full fillets that type of thing we're just kind of sorting this out as we go here our first thought on the smoker was that we were actually going to build a fire in the bottom which we still can have the option to try that later if we decide we want to do that the challenge with that is that you're going to have direct heat and direct smoke at that point and so you have to start your fish up higher on the unit um, so that you're not just blasting it with heat and you actually have some time to get some smoke in there before you just dry that that fish out and overheat it um, and so we decided to try out a indirect heat or indirect smoke uh, route and so i had an old worn out burned out barbecue grill cheap chinese piece of junk and so we're gonna try that and see how that works the cool thing about that is when you have your indirect smoke over here coming in then we are gonna have a lot less heat so we're gonna stack our shelves in here six inches apart starting down low and we're gonna give that a whirl and see how that works um i think i think it's gonna work pretty good the limitations with that is going to be what does it actually take to keep a fire going in this beast we just have to constantly feed it. We don't know. So that's kind of the basics on that. So as far as today, still need to put a roof on this puppy and build a door. I want to do it the right way. So this might take me a little bit of time. If I'm going to do it, I definitely want to do it right. So it's not a piece of garbage that I'm staring at all the time, regretting building it. Yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Okay. I could only imagine that a few of you out there are going, what on earth does fishing in Alaska and a smoker have to do with excavation and business? That's an excellent question to ask. And in all honesty, I feel like it's in the name of the channel, right? This is Arm Septic Alaska Family Business Channel. And I mean, we could sit and talk about business finances, business strategies, marketing, excavation, equipment, uh, business techniques, which is all fine and well and important and we will be discussing a lot of that on this channel but see we desire to bring a little bit different perspective um, to the excavation business in reality usually nobody gets to see like what actually happens behind the scenes of having a family business um, no one gets to see the the struggle what is the what does it look like to have good quality family time and that sort of thing and so um, you're going to see a lot of that on this channel and so especially i mean we're in a prime position here in alaska because we have super fun adventures amazing things that we get to take part in and do and it's just a great unique perspective to show kind of the behind the scenes and inside of what is it like to run a family business what does it like look like to have quality family time what does it look like to actually have a thriving family life a family uh, thriving marriage outside of the day-to-day -day business grind um, and so you should really expect to see a lot more of that we're building a smoker that's just part of family life and as you can see 
our guys coming over last night after work. They, they love being family with us. They love doing this kind of stuff. They love harvesting fish and having adventures with us. And that is part of our business strategy. That's how we've built a community and a family, not just the, the immediate family, the Campbell household, but it's a, the arm family. It is, it's more than just a job. And I'm sure there's some of you out there that are employing that business strategy, um, as well as it's more than just a business strategy. It's a passion of Ryan I's heart to do something like that. Anyway, hopefully that gives you a little insight as to what on earth is going on around here and why we're talking about building a smoker today. So I got to say, if you've never cut fresh cedar before, it's an amazing thing to behold. The smell is pretty nostalgic. You want to make a good memory with your kids, have them smell some cedar when you're cutting it. You know, I had a thought. Not that you should speak everything that you think. Anyway, I was playing with the dogs over there, and as I stood up and moved, turned around, a willow tree brushed up against my face. And I just got to thinking, man, I'm so glad I live in Alaska where there's no ticks. I don't know how you people in the South deal with ticks. That is so disgusting. I mean, crawling inside of every orifice. I'll deal with grizzly bears and angry mama moose all day long in my face versus ticks and spiders and things that'll jump up and kill you and you don't see them or crawl in places they don't belong. Yeah. All right, guys, check it out. I think she's coming along. Put on this front cedar, short little pieces, a topper, then cut these super challenging things. Don't mind the air gaps, it's all gonna get trimmed out. Yeah, it's a fun, fun little project. It smells ridiculous, I can't even tell you. This thing does. guys check out our smokehouse it's not 100 percent but it's definitely getting there it is so sweet i know it kind of looks like an outhouse but i promise you it's a smokehouse it's like a i mean it's a two-thirds of an outhouse and it's a smokehouse so let me show you the inside it looks so sweet inside <laughs> oh dude yeah man you guys in privacy i didn't know you were in there you pooping in the new smokehouse Okay, hey everybody, it's getting close. I am out of cedar trim, so I'm not gonna be able to finish trimming it up like I want. At least got all the major framing down. Got the cedar fascia on there, which I'm pretty stoked about. Got the door done. Oh, but it works really nice. Everything lines up really well. The door's nice and sturdy. Got the modified Z in there, which should keep it from racking on us. So once I get a metal roof and some flashing on there, and then obviously the trim all dialed up, this thing should last a long stinking time. I think if it's taken care of, this thing ought to last just an incredibly long time. Here's my fisher daughter, my fisher girl, mom's the fishing daughter. So I'm out here putting finishing touches on this thing. My wife makes me a steak dinner, so it's not working hard. Yeah, we gotta hop on it. I'm gonna get the roof on here tonight and uh, she'll be ready for smoking for the end of the weekend. That's what I'm talking about. Excited about that. All right, guys, low light, late night video. It's 10 p.m. I just had to get one shelf finally done in here. So here you go two by two frame, half inch mesh chicken wire i would assume we're gonna have to make a hot fire to uh get rid of that galvanized in there because i don't want to get poisoned so we did not make them full depth 
for a reason. Right now, it's quite a bit of work for me, and I got a pretty long wingspan um, to get all the way in here. So Mariah, obviously, needs to be able to reach in there. And then also, we wanted to leave a little bit of room here in case we wanted to actually hang some meat in here. So shelf number one, done. Put a little bit of metal flashing up there on the front edge to make a little makeshift drip edge for the metal roofing there. That should work out pretty good. Yeah, oh, she's coming together. I still really want the trim done on here, but it is what it is. Okay, first fire. When is it, 11 o'clock at night? She's a smoking. And I mean, this is all trial and error. We may end up needing a way bigger firebox. I don't know. That's amazing how much it started smoking immediately. Just even with a small fire in there. I got way too much. What in it? Did you open it? Was that fire? Yeah. Oh jeez. Okay, first fire. There's a reason for that fire extinguisher. Uh, we realized, unfortunately, that that little piece of garbage uh, grill that we had um, was burning way too hot, and it has had totally open air intake on it, so it was just running away, and it was pushing hot hot smoke into here and then we were having a secondary combustion inside the smokehouse it was acting acting as a secondary combustion chamber and uh trying to burn the brand new smoke uh, brand new smokehouse down sorry i'm more uh, slurring my words because i am tired um so we went ahead and set the grill in here and covered up the exhaust on it and so it's smoking away in there right now and then we are going to donate this cooker here that we don't use anymore to the cause because we know from experience that this has superior uh, air intake control. And we've actually smoked fish on this before because we can really throttle it down and just make it smoke and smolder in there. And uh, so since we don't use it anymore, we're going to go ahead and bore a hole in the top and do the same exact thing as cooking and smoking on here like we used to, except we're going to plumb that smoke into here. So that's not happening today. But uh, yeah, you know, sometimes you just kind of figure it out along the way. And uh, that's what we're doing today. Yeah, that was exciting there for a minute. I just about cried. Did that scare you? Yes, it did. Yeah? I almost cried. That's why we had that fire extinguisher. Yeah. Fun. Did you? It's slowly smoldering. All right. Check that out. Okay, guys. We've got the smoke generator 2.0 engaged. I busted a bit on the hole saw, so I had to go buy a new hole saw assembly. A much sharper, better quality one. Got a new hole bored into the top of the old smoker grill there. Got it all plumbed up. Got a small little smoldering fire in there. I mean, it's almost no flames, which is exactly what you want. We can just choke the air down on that. It's working awesome. We got smoke pouring out of this thing. No secondary jet flames going on in here. Ready? Are you ready for this? Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. That smells so good. Look at that pumping out of there. That smells so much better than before. Before it smelled hot, like a metal burning smell. Yeah, that was not good. So if you're ever doing a project like this, do not use a very hot firebox. It's gonna screw everything up. It's gonna melt the paint off everything and it's gonna burn down your smokehouse. So now you know. Here is our canning and smoking station. We're gonna be setting up the canner 
canning a ton of fish, smoking fish. Look at that. Look at that. I'm sure we'll have to tweak it and dial it in, but she is a smoking. Okay. First official rack of bellies going in the smoker. Gotta open the door all the way. So by design, it should not be able to fall off. Yeah, should be okay. Look at that, we're smoking. We're smoking, close the door. Good job. Yeah.